that I see a squash vine borer, it's time to stick them. What's up everybody, Farmer Q here, and on today, we're gonna be doing a little injecting. So we have a little BT, and we have some syringes, and we have some squash plants. We also have a squash vine borer that we caught flying around these parts. So what we're gonna do today is a little bit of preventative maintenance to make sure that we can put a foothold in the pursuit of these squash vine borer grubs getting into our stems and destroying our crop. So come on with me and I'll show you the mixture, the application, and the situation. We'll get it going, so let's get it. All right, y'all, so we got four different things out here to show y'all before we get started with our injecting. So first off, we have our sprayer here. And right now we have our sprayer filled up to the half gallon line. The reason why we even use the sprayer to begin with is so that we can have a marker to understand exactly how much liquid solution that we're dealing with so that we can know that we're adding the right amount of our BT, which is our next item, to the mixture. And what we're gonna be adding today is one teaspoon of BT to a half gallon of water. So it's really important that we have a measurement tool here so that we can understand exactly how much we're dealing with. And of course we have our trusty shot glass. And obviously this shot glass is so good for getting measurements set, making sure that we put our right amounts of whatever we're putting inside of our liquid solution that we're gonna apply. And last but not least, we have a half gallon mason jar. And this mason jar is gonna be what we put our mixture inside of so that we can draw it out with our syringe here. And this is just a syringe that I got off Amazon. You can find them pretty much anywhere on, online, on Amazon, whatever. But it has a very small injection point to it and it's really good for injecting our solution into our squash plants. All right, y'all, so we're back and we're gonna go ahead and get the process started for our injection. And I wanted to show y'all real quick. This is the needle that we'll be injecting our squash with. All we have to do is make sure that our needle is nice and exposed. And then what I like to do is come here with our lighter and I literally will heat the needle. This is gonna make sure that we're sterilized, going into our solution and going into our plant. That should be good enough. Now what I do is I come here and I wipe it off with my wipe here, just to make sure that we're good to go. Then our last step is to come here and just suck in our solution. All right, so now that we got our needle ready, we have a nice little spot to inject the plant right down up in here. So we're gonna stick our needle right here. We're gonna go ahead and just inject the plant full of BT. We can reload the needle as many times as we want. Now I'll just find more spots to just slide the needle in here. And then we just, we just inject our BT. I even like to go inside some of the leaf stems here, like this. And I literally just fill the leaf stems with the BT mixture. We'll get one for the row here. Squash vine borers are no longer gonna have their fun. So, y'all know what that means? That's Farmer Q, out. Mm -hmm. 